Hi everyone, this is Diana with Skimplicity Bath and Body. And today I want to show you how I make my all natural sunscreen in the crock pot. So I've already measured out all of the ingredients and I'll uh, post the recipe below. This is um, 8 ounces of shea butter, 4 ounces of coconut oil, 4 ounces of beeswax, 4 ounces of olive oil, 2 tablespoons of vitamin E, and 3 tablespoons of zinc oxide. So we're just going to put this in the crock pot and you'll cook this on high, you'll melt it on high for about a half an hour until all of the ingredients are melted. And you want to add everything except for the zinc oxide. You'll add that at the end. And this is also, this recipe can be used as a baby diaper rash cream. And it has about a six month shelf life. So you want to use it up within six months. It becomes less effective after that. And this recipe makes about five four ounce jars. So we'll plug this in and we'll let this melt and then when I come back I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, so now we're back and our oils are melted. So they look like melted oils. And we're going to slowly whisk in our zinc oxide. And you want to make sure that this is, just do it slowly because you want to make sure that it's mixed in thoroughly. And we heat the oils in the crock pot to keep the oils from losing their vital nutrients and to keep the shea butter from getting grainy tends to get grainy if you heat it in the microwave. And you can leave this unscented or you can add essential oils to it. It's your preference. Um, I add about a half a teaspoon of essential oils and I like to use either lavender and chamomile or lavender and peppermint. And when we're done with this we're going to pour Pour this into heat resistant containers. You might want to let it cool a little bit, maybe down to like 140 degrees. When it hardens, it hardens into more of a paste. what it looks like when it's liquid. You see that there's a lot of residue on the bottom so you want to make sure and stir that in really thoroughly. And this is the jars that I put it in and that's what it looks like when it's hardened. Okay. Thanks for watching.